this is anu your host from topic media thank you so much for joining today i would like to introduce a very well known scholar an academic writer and also vice chancellor and the founder of yes vasa university all the way from bangalore and he is a best yoga therapist as well and we know him best as a yoga consultant of our beloved prime minister mr narendra modi he is none other than dr padma shri h r nagendra he is here with us in city of dallas and it's my honor and pleasure to introduce him to you thank, thank you, you very so much, much for thank joining thank you i wish all the best for a topic media topic which media. Are, thank you <laughs> and um, today we are actually honored to have you here and we would like to discuss few things uh, with you with our audience as well most please. welcome mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you have written more than 35 books 100 mm. research papers mm. so let us start with a concept of yoga with mm. the modern society mm. and we would like to know the exact definition and meaning of it yoga is uh, a way of life i call it as the science of holistic living and the word yoga comes from the root called yuj yujyate anena iti yoga yoga is to join it's a way by which we join ourselves with the total all pervasive consciousness and we bring all the yoga institutions and other things together it has both the external and the internal dimension in it so this is what we are trying to do that so we do have a different styles if i'm right like hatha yoga mm. or uh, karma yoga mm. and uh, different yoga so which one is the best way to mm. keep mm. practicing for a day to day busy life so when we can and said we can either work with the intellect mm-hmm. or with the emotions or work with uh, the will power mm-hmm. or day to day action non yoga raj yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga mm-hmm. so for the busy people karma yoga is the best because they don't have time but karma yoga involves very subtle way of transforming our souls the way we do the work and every action we do should be converted into a yoga that's called karma yoga karma. that's the secret that krishna gives hmm. in the bhagavad gita hmm. and in which you have to see that you overcome your tamas control your rajas and develop the sattva okay. and that's the first step for All the three. total personality transformation okay. Okay. Hmm. so nowadays we really run a very pace you know high pace life mm. in our modern society with the Correct. developing mm. technology mm. and we undergo a lot of stress and mm. depression yeah. so give us in a little bit of elaborate mm. way that how yoga helps to control that it's very important because now in the process of growth and development of an individual you sharpen your mind brilliant mind faster mind quicker mind dynamic mind energetic mind creative mind all that we are doing through our education system fine but at the same time yoga says there is only one part of the mastery over the mind mm-hmm. there is a second mastery in which you calm down the mind silence the mind tranquil the mind stay completely in a state of silence these are like two wings and for this the second part has been totally you know neglected as a result we have grown gigantic on one front another side we are almost like pygmies this big imbalance is the root cause for all the challenges that we face whether the stress challenge or the challenge of the modern ncds non communicable diseases asthma diabetes hypertension heart problem cancer and all this thing so what we have to do yoga says is mana prashamana upaya yoga is to come down the mind silence the mind if we introduce this into our education system there is going to be a wonderful result that can come up this is what we have done over the last 30 40 years so you also talked about like there are three different styles like to do not to do and i think with the hmm. differentiation hmm. so that's the freedom we all have uh-huh. either i can go in this way uh-huh. for sharpening the mind brilliant mind dynamic mind uh-huh. or just don't do anything or just allow things to happen uh-huh. or you can see that the calm down and the mind can happen right. kartum akartum anyatha kartum kartum uh-huh. to do a particular way in this way uh-huh. or akartum not to do anything uh-huh. or do it in a different way uh-huh. either we can go in this way uh-huh. to improve myself continuously develop from our normal level to become great super divine human being can reach perfection itself on side or i can just allow things to happen and you know, become slaves to our emotions and other thing and deteriorate both these things are available right. therefore the choice is ours right. and everybody wants who want to be suffering 
and Dukkha and then slavery. You all want to be happier day by day. Therefore, Krishna says, go in this way. Mm. So day-to-day -day life that we do have, you know, these challenges of diabetes, mm. cancer, and mm. a very, you know, sometimes it's curable, mm. sometimes. Mm. So how do you manage mm. that mental stability mm. with this practice in yoga? Mm. This is the exact point which I was mentioning. Mm -hmm. Because of the big imbalance at the mind level, mm -hmm. it percolates down to the prana level, at the breathing level, mm -hmm. causes haphazardness in the breathing. Mm -hmm. Shallow breathing, fast breathing, haphazard breathing, unrhythmic breathing. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, it starts hitting mm -hmm. the higher centers of the brain, causes autonomic imbalance. Then we have the endocrine imbalance and it spreads throughout the body, a stress reaction. When you allow this to continue, then it will settle down as a particular disease, depending on which system is the weakest. Therefore, the thing here is called the adhi, and it comes to the body is called the vyadhi. So, therefore, we what we do in the modern medical system is only through symptomatic relief by pharmacological and surgical invention. But the main point is that the root cause is not removed, adhi is not removed. Therefore, yoga tackles this problem at the very root cause and removes that. Then you have a total answer to the challenge. So yoga and meditation both are the two different words? Yoga has the four streams as I said, Nana Yoga, Raja Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Karma Yoga. Mm -hmm. In Raja Yoga, Patanjali, mm -hmm. there is the first phase is called the Ashtanga Yoga, mm -hmm. in which we have Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, eight okay. limbs. Okay. In that Dhyana is the seventh limb as Patanjali has given. So, meditation or dhyana is part of the Ashtanga Yoga. Mm -hmm. Ashtanga is a part of the entire Raj Yoga. Mm -hmm. Raj Yoga is part of the four streams Yoga. Okay. So, therefore, Yoga and meditation are not two different things. Meditation is part of the entire comprehensive dimension of Yoga. So, the, we can say together or is this, a, we cannot really separate them? That there is something like saying that science and mathematics. <laughs> Mathematics is part of science, so all if you want. Okay, science including mathematics. Okay. Yoga including meditation, you can say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we are really grateful for your contribution to our society and we are definitely, you know, uh, would like to thank you for okay. all this work to improve through yoga mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, your uh, good thoughts and suggestions, advisors. So, there is one last, mm -hmm. you know, request mm -hmm. to you. What mm -hmm. is your advice to our NRI community mm -hmm. to reduce stress, depression and mm. stay happy and mm. lead a healthy Absolutely. lifestyle. Fortunately or unfortunately, all our NIs, NRIs, we are prone to become diabetic. <laughs> so, diabetic has started increasing much higher. Similarly, we are prone to become hypertensive and heart problems because genetically we are exposed like that. Therefore, in India, diabetes is soaring so high and while China is number one, we are number two. We want to cross and become diabetic capital of the world. <laughs> So, we are trying to see whether we can mitigate and get normalized. Okay. Similarly, here also, diabetic, hypertension, these things have come up very fast and therefore, we have to mitigate. But that the answer is yoga. It gives complete answer to this thing. Therefore, we are going to take up this entire process of uh, dealing with that thing. In Houston, for example, we had Stop Diabetes Movement. Similarly, we did in Los Angeles, other places we have done. Similarly, in Dallas also, yeah. you must see that we must bring this dimension of Stop Diabetes Movement. And that's why it can be a good contribution to prevent disease, to promote positive health. And if you already have diabetes, it can be gradually brought down to normalcy also. And recently in India, we did a huge study of 2.5 lakh people screened in 60 districts. And we did extensive research data with the biggest ever project in this thing. And wonderful results have come. Based on that, the Government of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare have announced this as a national program. And we are setting up huge number of wellness centers in the country, 150,000 wellness centers. Mm -hmm. The objective is prevention of disease, promotion of positive health to deal with diabetes, mm -hmm. whether the protocol is made mm -hmm. compulsory and it's going to come up. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much because I think we are looking forward to have a Yesvasa Academy mm -hmm. uh, for a prerequisites as well as a training center here mm -hmm. that's going to be opening pretty soon. And uh, I think uh, your visit is uh, going to help us to decide mm -hmm. the future plans for that. So Thank you very much. Thank topic. you so much for All the joining. best. Thank you. We also have here with our topic media Dr. Manjunath, who is a head of research of International Yoga University. Uh, Bangalore is also here with us uh, joining. So we heard that uh, you know this is going to be an exciting news to Dallas that we are going to open one of the academy, the training center here uh, from Yasvasa. So tell us a little bit about it. 
see the greatest uh, uh, whatever SVS has uh, really come up in the last around uh, 15 years as a university and Vyasa in the last four decades is its contribution to three major areas that is education, research and clinical services. And we will be very happy to bring all these three components to Dallas. And uh, uh, what we generally say is uh, uh, the need of the hour is complementing tradition with science. What uh, our beloved founder Nagendraji and Guruji says that uh, bring the best of the East with the best of the West. And uh, uh, what best to do other than uh, bringing the East to the West and Absolutely. sitting here in Dallas to make this happen. And uh, soon you will have all this over here and we will be very happy to bring the research base of Esviasa, which is the backbone of uh, the university uh, with uh, 600 plus publications and the first ever uh, index journal, what it runs, International Journal of Yoga, all that uh, uh, hardcore information which should be utilized to the society in the way it is acceptable today and we will be doing that and we will be bringing an academy whereby we introduce yoga programs which includes a short term program to a long term masters program as well as we will bring in uh, the most uh, uh, traditionally as well as uh, scientifically tested yoga therapy Therapies, to this right. country. Right. So, as I said, all three modalities will be available. As you experience in Bangalore, Absolutely. you will have it over here in Dallas. It's an honor to be a media coordinator for this program as well and uh, definitely looking forward to all the future, you know, the academy that is going to start pretty soon. Thank you so much for joining and uh, looking forward to uh, hear from you again and again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, a great privilege to be associated with uh, Topic Media uh, because uh, you are reaching what is uh, most needed for the world in two ways as uh, Guruji mentioned, both in print as well as uh, through video media. So we wish uh, all the success for Topic Media. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Honored to be a part of it.